subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. In Python, the subprocess module is used to spawn new processes, connect to their input slash output slash error pipes, and obtain their return codes. This tutorial will guide you through using the subprocess module with examples to execute external commands from within your Python script. Let's start with a simple example of running an external command and capturing its output. In this example, the subprocess.run function is used to execute the lsl command. The capture underscore output equals true argument captures the command's output, and text equals true ensures the output is returned as a string. You can check the return code of the process to determine if it was successful or encountered an error. In this example, the check equals true parameter raises a called process error exception if the command returns a non-zero exit code. You can use subprocess to run a command and pass its output as input to another command. Here, the output of the first command is captured and passed as input to the second command using the stout equals subprocess.pipe and input equals result.stout parameters. You can redirect the output of a command to a file. This example redirects the output of the lsl command to a file named output.txt. These examples cover some common use cases of the subprocess module in Python. Depending on your specific needs, you can explore additional options and functionalities provided by the subprocess module. ChatGPT